All right, guys, so we're working with Tommy, my working rate, our board and train, and today we're going to be working on neutrality to uh, decoy accessories. So I have my guys in the back right now. Uh, they have the jugs and the sticks, and as soon as I start this exercise, they're going to basically start with the agitation. And once I, what I want that to do for Tommy is to bring engagement. So it's not a tool that the decoy can use to distract them. It's just going to be kind of background noise. So as soon as I tell my dog a command, they'll start up with the kind of going crazy with the stuff at a low level stem. And then once I get the engagement that I want from them, I will break and release. And what that'll do to Tommy is that'll condition that as soon as he hears that stuff, basically to engage with his handler. So we're gonna get started now. Tommy, come here. Good. Good. Break. Good. So again, once I just say the command, they'll get rolling here. Tommy, come here. Heel. Break. Good. And you guys can turn it up a little louder too, if you guys want. Good. Always have good communication with uh, your decoys. <laughs> Tommy, come here. Heel. Break. Good. So again, I am essentially luring him to the spots I want, marking him, uh, and then releasing. And he's working for his meals today too. So again, we'll start again. Come here. Heel, spin, heel, break, good. Again, we'll do that again. Come here, heel, spin, heel, down, break, good. We'll do that again. Heel, spin, Heel, break. Awesome. Come here. Heel, spin, heel, spin, heel, break. Good. So again, the purpose of the exercise is to cue that when those things go on and the decoy starts to get, you know, the attention of the dog and break the focus off the handler, that he understands that's not the case. Uh, and that means that when those go on, he engages with me. So yeah, that is building neutrality to, or building engagement off of uh, decoys agitation tools.